Hello everyone, this is our uh, group 9 and our topic, topic is uh, enrollment process for gym. So welcome to the automated gym sign up uh, initiative presentation. Our primary objective is to enhance the overall gym experience for both staff and members by implementing an automated system that focus on the three key goals. The first one is operational effectiveness. By uh, automating the gym administration process, we aim to streamline uh, various tasks such as membership, enrollment, class scheduling, uh, payment processing. This will reduce uh, manual efforts, minimizing errors, and free up staff to focus on more strategic and member uh, activities, member convenience. With the automated sign-up system, member will experience a more uh, seamless and user-friendly enrollment process. They will be uh, able to sign up for membership classes and personal training session online or through self-service uh, at the gym. Additionally, the system will send timely reminder and notify ensuring members uh, stay informed and engaged. Database decision making. The new automated system will generate uh, valuable data insight on members, member uh, preference, uh, class attendance and overall gym usage pattern. By analyzing this data, the gym member management can make informed decision to optimize cl uh, class schedule, improve overall uh, gym performance. Hi, my name is Lily Upadhyay and I am going to start with an overview of the key members of the project team and stakeholders involved in this project. Talking about the Paris, she is the project coordinator. She has managed the project planning and coordination of the project. Uh, Ruvisha, she is the finance manager. She is, going, she is going to manage the project finances and budget allocation. Chinedu, he is going to be the project manager. He is going to look at the project strategy and direction of the project. Uh, then Resh Reshma, she is going to be the communication manager. So she is going to handle the project communication and stakeholders engagement in the project. Mayuran, he is going to assure the quality of the project. So testing of the automated system and everything. Um, then me, I am going to be the procure procurement manager. So I am going to manage the procurement activities, vendor selection and contracts. Other than the team members, there are going to be the stakeholders. Uh, such as uh, GM, uh, like software development vendor, IT finance, procurement marketing, and other departments, and GM, manage, GM management and other stakeholders. In this slide, we will discuss the findings from our assessment of the current enrollment process at our gymnasium. The first one is uh, in efficiencies of the current enrollment process. Uh, as the project coordinator, we found, found, found out that the assessment of the existing enrollment process, we observed that the manual enrollment process was time consuming and prone to errors. And this led to delays in member onboarding and caused frustration among new members. 
The second one was the payment processing thing delays. We found out that the manual payment process re resulted in occasional delays and errors in billing. This affected the team's cash flow and memory satisfaction. The third one is class scheduling difficulties. Uh, we discovered that members faced challenges in booking classes through the existing system, leading to dissatisfaction and a potential loss of business. And the last one is resource constraints. Uh, this required uh, to carefully manage resource allocation and ensure timely project, com uh, project completion. And there was another one which was related to quality assurance. It is not that much important, but yeah. Uh, we also found out that there was not earlier testing and an identified uh, improvement was proved. So yeah. Moving on to results achieved through our efforts in automating the GM sign up process. The first one was automated enrollment process. With the implementation of the new automated system, the enrollment process has been significantly streamlined. This has reduced the time required for member onboarding and has enhanced the overall sign up experience. The second one is seamless payment processing. Um, this has eliminated delays and errors in billing, leading to improvement cash flow and increased member satisfaction. The third one is efficient class booking. Uh, the automated system now allows members to easily book classes, leading to higher member satisfaction and increased class att attendance. And the last result is primary project progress. Uh, project progress uh, is happening as planned. We adhered to the critical path, achieving timely project delivery. Thank you. Hi, my name is Reshma. And today I'm going to continue with the project constraint and the critical path as we embark on the exciting journey of developing and implementing our automated system. I wanted to provide an overview of the project phases and the corresponding timeline. This structured approach will help us uh, stay organized, efficient and focused throughout the project's life cycle. So let's start with the budget and our budget is $73,700. This enhanced the budget allocation will effectively cover, cover all project expenses, including the software development, infrastructure upgrades, training, marketing, and uh, other. And with the additional financial support, we can explore the better solution and provide the necessary resources to tackle any challenges that may arise during the implementation phase. And the timeline in the light of the complexity of the project and to accommodate the smooth integration and testing phases, uh, we have to decide to extend the project duration from seven to eight months. This additional month will allow ample time for conferences, software planning, development, and text testing, as well as manpower training, test, quality checks, and the final deployment of the automated system. We believe, we believe that this extension will be that contributes significantly to the project's overall success and the efficiency. Uh, for ensuring the resource availability, we recognize the importance of skilled and reliable team members uh, in the success of our project. Therefore, we will ensure that the necessary resources, including the proficient software developers, trainers, and support staff are available and fully committed to their roles. Regular assessments will be conducted to guarantee that the project team is well equipped and handle their respective responsibilities and contribute effectively to the uh, project's objectives. And the challenges are, I mean, uh, for overcoming the integration challenges, the integration of, a, of the automated system with the existing gym system, such as member databases, payment processes, and class schedule software process a unique set of challenges. We are aware of these challenges and have de developed a comprehensive plan to ensure a smooth and efficient integration process. And considering regulatory compliance, we understood the importance of regulatory compliance, particularly concerning the data protection and privacy regulations. Uh, with these regulations and industry standards. Additionally, we will maintain a close relationship with our vendors and stakeholders to ensure their reliability in delivering high quality work on time. And the critical, considering the critical path, the software, uh, there are the software planning, it takes one month and deployment and testing, it will be 
take three months and mount power training it will take one month test and quality checks around two months and deployment of software around one month and i am confident that with these strategic adjustments and a committed team we will overcome any challenges that come our way and successfully deliver the automated system your and next uh, next phase will be described by the another presenter hey my name is myron and i'm going to be one of the recommendations and benefits so first off we have the member training and make sure all our, our staff members are trained um they so they are able to help the new onboarding customers and the existing ones we want to do continuous monitoring make sure our app is free of bugs everyone knows how to use it and make sure hardware is up to date and there's no glitches vendor collaboration we're going to make sure that we team up with other um, people in the fitness industry for example protein shake vendors equipment vendor clothing vendors and other small small equipment that way help each other build their businesses data security compliance we're going to make sure we have a team hired to make sure a data security and everything is safe so we don't want any anyone hacking our system so it's protected so we protect all our customers information marketing communications we're going to make sure all the marketing is up to date and you have a constant team that way we can get more customers and we're going to make sure we have long-term support for this and the maintenance to make sure this is successful and evaluate our back and when we go over some details to make sure this it has a positive effect and if it's helping our business and make the changes necessary so looking into the benefits so Operation efficiency. This automated automatic system reduces manual efforts, enabling staff focus on other essentials. So yeah, so we want to make sure our team is able to grow up a business and scale it in other aspects of the company. Um, member satisfaction, enhanced user experience leads to higher member satisfaction and retention rates. So we want to have an experience, not just for the gym goers. So we want them to. We don't want them to feel like they're just going to the gym. We want them to feel like it's home. So we want to make sure everything is easy and smooth for them. Do things that the other gyms are not doing. And competitive advantage. The gym contains a competitive edge in the industry by providing innovative and customer services. So we want to make sure we stand out from our competitors. We just don't want to fit in. We want to dominate the industry. So we got to make sure how can we make ourselves better. So by doing so, by doing this, we'll stick out. Financial savings, so streamlined process, reduced errors in the cost and increasing the revenue. So we have this automated system. It reduces human errors that we would have to maybe pay for out of pocket. By doing so, we're cutting cost on even some labor um, because we have less people working on it. Good day, everyone. My name is Chinedu Ezomike. I'm a member of Group 9. I will be continuing from where my colleagues stopped. I'll be looking at the budget part of in part of the project. We to in order to ensure that we deliver the project as planned, we researched and came up with a budget of about $73,700. This budget is represent the resources that we need to deliver this project. As, as a breakdown of the project, the software development came out at $30,000. Setup and implementation came to $10,000. Manpower training and development, $5,000. Upgrading the infrastructure, $15,000. Marketing, $7,000. We then added a contingency of 10%, which came out to about $6,700. Total amount, including the contingency, is then what came to $7,700. The contingency was quite important because there might be unforeseen costs and unforeseen changes that we didn't uh, plan for. So we had that to ensure, to give us a buffer. We are working hard to ensure that we deliver this project within this budget. I will then talk about the team contribution. The, member, the members of the team include parties, 
Amin, Chinedu, myself, Rashma, Mayuran, and Helia. Padis is the project coordinator. Amin is finance manager. Myself, I'm the project manager. Rashma is communication manager. Mayuran is quality assurance manager, and Helia is procurement manager. The project coordinator has responsibilities to lead project planning and coordination, to facilitate communication among team members, stakeholders, and vendors, and ultimately to monitor project progress and adhere to timelines and milestones. The finance manager is focused on managing project finance and budget allocation, overseeing financial planning and resource allocation, conducting financial analysis, and providing cost-saving recommendations. The project manager, which is myself, I'm focused on the overall, uh, the overall project management and providing strategic direction, coordinating team efforts, and align, making sure that uh, the efforts are aligned with project objectives addressing challenges and mitigating pot potential obstacles. Reshma, who is communication manager, is focused on handling project communications, especially with the stakeholders, developing effective communication strategies, managing internal and external project communication, providing status updates and progress reports, especially to stakeholders. Because stakeholders are very important in making sure that this project is, is delivered properly. The quality assurance manager focused on conducting rigorous quality assurance and testing of the automated system, identifying and rectifying system flaws and errors, collaborating with developers for high quality del deliverables. And the procurement manager is focused on managing procurement activities, vendor selection, contract negotiation. This especially with respect to the, um, the software developer, because that's the most important vendor in this project. Um, ensuring timely acquisition of necessary resources and services, and then maintaining vendor relationships for efficient project delivery. So these are the members of the team and their contributions and what they're focused on. Thank you. So this further slide presents the future scope of automated Zim sign-up initiative focusing on extending the system to a mobile app for enhanced member convenience. So as we look ahead of, to the future of this system, one of our key objectives is mobile app integration. We aim to extend the automated system to a mobile app, allowing our members to access gym service conveniently from their smartphones only. So there are several benefits of mobile app integration such as convenience, uh, accessibility, enhancing member experience and all. Second one is personalized member dashboard. So they'll have the personalized member dashboard so they can get the progress tracking, class schedules, personalized recommendations and everything. Third one is AI drive recommendations. So basically on this, the this will elevate the XP uh, sorry the gym experience further so we are exploring the implementation of ai driven recommendations as well so they can get personalized class selection optimal scheduling and improved engagement between the class groups and then the expansion of services is also one of the future scope so the data is a powerful asset right so we can plan to leverage it to expand and tailor our gym services uh, so it can identify trends tailoring offerings and everything then the success, uh, successful implementation on impact of this everything will have in future and it will provide benefits to the members of the gym. As we conclude our uh, presentation, it can be said that the future of the automated gym sign up initiative is truly bright with mobile app integration, personalized dashboards, AI driven recommendations and data driven expansion. This successful implementation has resulted in improved efficiency, efficiency and a seamless member experience. So we'll contribute to monitor and optimize our services to meet the evolving needs of our valued members. That's it, I guess. And uh, further, if there is something that needs to be improved, we are ready to improve it. And thank you for your time. Thank you so much.